to David Brown of Broadbit, who is going to tell us about a better battery. Now, what's all this about? Because I gather it's not just for vehicles, it's a ge generally a better battery. Tell yeah. us about it. So it's a platform technology. It's a new battery chemistry based on sodium, not on lithium. But we're able to achieve twice the energy density per kilogram of lithium. Now, we're, to we're told that there's sodium metal and there's sodium iron, so that's which right. is it? So this is metallic sodium. It's metallic sodium, I mm -hmm. see, right. Uh, that sounds explosive. <laughs> well, let's say if you put a lot of energy in a small place, you have a lot of energy in a small place. So, if you want high energy batteries, you have high energy. <laughs> right, no, uh, but I mean, you obviously you've done the work and I'm being frivolous, but uh, these, this technology is, uh, uh, developed to the point where what you would sell intellectual property you would sell batteries I mean. yeah so the plan is the state of the affairs is we're making coin cells now so we've proven this technology and this performance at the coin cell level we're right. making our preparing to make our first cylindrical cells to prove it at the cylindrical cell level right and the business plan is that Broadbit produces the electrolyte and the electrodes for assembly by a third party whether that be a white good manufacturer or another brand name and then either we sell the, the batteries under our brand or we sell the electrodes for a third party to sell under their brand and the electrolyte. Okay, so you're in the business of finding partners? Yeah. Uh, and uh, your startup? Yes. Uh, how, how long are you funded for? You're, you must, in addition to that, be needing funding. Indeed. So right now we're completely self-funded uh, up until now and a total of about 400k has been put into the company and now we're looking for a bigger outside investment to match some government funding right. we have now. Right. So that's the state of affairs. Oh good, okay. And um, you, you, have you done any prototypes of larger batteries? Or? No. no, so, so right you, now it's just at the coin cell level. You've done sampling of coin cells and when yeah. you say you're going to do some cylindrical ones next, Mm -hmm. Are they a standard lithium ion size or an yeah, AA? Yeah, 18650. Oh, it is an 18650, mm -hmm. so you're not going in the intermediate group. No. no. Okay. And tell us about the advantages. Tell us about compared with, I mean, at the moment, we're in the decade of the lithium ion battery, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Really, I'm talking electric vehicles here. Um, but. Um, you know, lithium sulfur and other things are coming along um, and starting to be used a little bit, but mm -hmm. no one, including the enthusiasts for that, see it taking over very rapidly and there are problems with everything. Yeah. So, um, can you feed us with some information about um, why, what type of vehicle that your product should appear in? Is there a sweet spot yet? Do you know enough to say that your chemistry would best be in uh, a big truck massive battery or, or an electric bike battery or uh, what? Well, in terms of the performance, we have about twice the energy density per kilogram than lithium ion, but we're about the same volume density. So about the same energy per unit volume. So we're a weight saving battery. Right. So any application where weight is important, we're the choice. 400. 400. That's exactly the point that in Elon Musk says that transatlantic exactly. flight by pure electric aircraft and, uh, becomes interesting. And uh, it is already interesting. We're already talking to several aircraft manufacturers who say that we will more than triple their range with our batteries over existing battery technology. Really exciting. Uh, but you need cycle life and you need real life. Do you have any graphs of what you do have in terms of life life? Yeah, so it's relatively early in that right now, so we haven't done a long-term cycling, but for the high power we've done about a thousand cycles and show no measurable degradation. And for the high energy we've done about a hundred cycles and again no measurable degradation. But of course we have to go longer, longer cycles to prove and that. And are there safety issues? So whenever people talk about metal anodes, usually you're talking about a separator that has to be really superb. I mean, mm -hmm. are there um, safety issues with this? Or well, not? you know, for lithium ion, the major reason there's catastrophic failure is dendrite formation. In our batteries, we have no dendrite formation at all. Oh, well, that's very important because some other ones do. Yes. And even on a really nano scale, they're much worse than lithium ion, aren't they? And it uh, means the separator's required to perform miracles. Yeah, really, so our separator only has to physically separate. It doesn't have to block dendrites or anything okay. like that. Okay, now, um, one could get excited if the thing was solid state because we could make it part of a structure and we could 
maybe make it non-flammable if it was an inorganic We have non-flammable electrolyte already. Ah. And is that liquid or solid? It's a liquid non-flammable electrolyte. Is it organic? I can't say more details than ah, what I've just right. said. Okay. <laughs> Anyone to think you were on camera? Okay. <laughs> right ho. So that's interesting. So non-flammable is an enormous marketing thing, isn't it? I, mean, I don't think anyone is particularly worried about the uh, anything else other than the electrolyte burning. Usually in most mm -hmm. constructions, the, the electrolyte's what we really stay awake at night worrying about. And that would be an important thing with aircraft, of course, because safety is just far more important than yeah. any other vehicle. Uh, so, um, the volume not being bigger is actually quite good, isn't it? Because quite a lot of the alternatives to lithium-ion batteries, when you keep questioning these people, they say, well, yes, we've got the better um, watt hours per kilogram, but actually it's worse than lithium. A lot of them are much bigger, and that can matter, you know, in a car or something, or streamlining. You actually want passengers, you don't want battery. And mm -hmm. so if you are the same as lithium ion, that is a plus, actually. Uh, that, that's good going. Um, do you think it could be made part of a structure and then we could throw yeah, away no dumb plastic and metal? That gives us a huge, in the real world, energy density mm. of the whole vehicle. Sure. It's a big win. Yeah, I see no reason why not. We're not pursuing that right now because no. we're trying to get our first products on the market with okay. standard sizes. But there's no reason the technology couldn't oh, do that. Oh, that's really interesting. And are we allowed to know what the metal is of the anode and cathode, or the materials? Uh, or are you well, I can, I can say it's sodium metal. That's what I can say. That's the anode. I, I will, yes. Yeah. I wouldn't talk about the any rest. details of the rest. Oh, right, yeah. and the current carriage and all that. But they are wound components that yeah. are coming up soon. Yeah. OK. Oh, well, that's really... And you, you could do flat versions. And I sure, sure. You do prismatic or pouch or all the usual yeah. choice. So a yeah. partner is now making the first pouch cells with our technology. Uh, right. For testing, not in production uh, yet. So if you get the funding that you want and the partners you want, what's your mindset for the next 10 years? Well, we plan to be the replacement for lithium-ion. So everything you see lithium-ion, we hope to be... Metallic sodium in the 10 years. world in one sentence. Good luck. <laughs> you, you've got all the right parameters, including you. you personally. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>